Deficit spending. Thrown your facial hair back. Yep, I did. Uh, since I was in Rome, I have not shaved. Since I saw you. Why did you decide to do that? I got up late every day. <laughs> okay, all right, so Lisa Bowman and Glenn O'Brien, do we have titles better than uh, August's title? Yes, I do, Mark. <laughs> uh, Sisyphus and the Pussycat. No, no, let's make it Sisyphus's Pussy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> how about Lisa Bowman's uh, contribution? Uh, how about for richer for poorer? I like that. Okay, can I buy that for $20? Bonus. I like that. Rich or poor? Oh. Tough. 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 <laughs> I need to hear what Glenn says first. Oh. Like a. Glenn, do you have something to say? Yeah, I got Lisa Bowman. Oh, wait, Glenn's about to speak. Oh. <laughs> Hold the phone. Go, Glenn. Hey, Glenn, do you have The New World. Not bad. You know, he says about Glenn's bottle, right? Yeah. Can I buy the New World by Glenn O'Brien for $20 with this thing? Oh. $40 for Glenn O'Brien with the New World. $20. Okay. Now, here's another kind of New World. Two angels, they have one wing each. They need to be together in order to fly. I notice they have opposite color half heart, but it comes to full heart when it comes together. How about a conjugal visit? <laughs> conjugal visit, okay. Lisa or Glenn, do you have something even better? Yes, I do, Mark. <laughs> what would that be, Glenn? The destined one. Okay, great. Now, Lisa Bowman, do you have something even mm. better than that? Let's fly away. <laughs> 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 I Let's fly away by 
lease the cabinet for $20. Gong. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I this one by Glenn O'Brien for $20. I don't know about that. I, I, I have a better title. I have a fairness to David Coggins. Shouldn't we vote on his title too? Yes. yes. Uh, what What's title was that? Conjugal visit. visit. No, no, we shouldn't vote on <laughs> <in> that. Conjugal <laughs> visit. <laughs> I, I have a Come on, title. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. I'm trying to get under Glenn's skin I, I, here because Carla's not here, so I'm, no, I'm trying well, to. Mark promised that he was going to listen to my titles, and when I said I had a better title, he didn't listen to it, so that's one. All right, what's your better title? We, we can use it on the sequel. Uh, what's ha your better title? Half-hearted no more. Ooh. All right, for the sequel, can I advise? Half-hearted no more by Glenn O'Brien. So the sequel to that thing. and close so I can see it. Okay. Oh, is she coming out of the screen? Yeah. I like that. Her name is 19th century painting by, I think, Bougaro, right, Glenn? Bougaro, yeah. Now, the sculptor is, is carving the statue and it's so realistic that the statue comes to life, right? It's the Pygmalion. Pygmalion. Mm -hmm. Who's that Pygmalion first? Lisa, Lisa. Lisa. Funny knows Lisa <laughs> I got one for you, Mark. So this is a modern day version of the Pygmalion story. The woman is being created out of the laptop computer. What is your title, David? Uh, screen Flavor Saver. <laughs> the moment, I have a title from you. Hmm. You look just like me. <laughs> uh, okay, that sucks. And, <laughs> Gong. Uh, we have a title for you. Yes, I have a title mark. <laughs> what would that be, Glenn? It's a really bad pun, but I think it's a good title. Okay, we're ready. Uh, a cursory affair. Tonight, <laughs> 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 I buy a cursory affair. Final one for $20. That's pretty good. Somebody goes to $20. and getting all the good reviews and the other artist is only painting with his heart and he does he's on the floor with nothing for the moment though maybe he's got long-term final brand we have a title from you uh the understudy <laughs> can i buy the understudy by glenn o'brien for twenty dollars why not This is a stolen title. It's uh, uh, The Light That Failed. That's beautiful. Very poetic. Can I buy The Light That Failed for $20? Yeah. 
For you, Mark. What is it, David? Third person narrative. Extremely good. <laughs> I like it. Let's see if New York likes it. Can I buy third person narrative for fifty dollars? Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, fifty dollars. Thank you. What is the centerpiece? <laughs> it looks like a boat. It looks like a boat. Is it a boat? They're contemplating modes of transportation. Okay, now bring it close to the luminaries and then to the analyst. Okay. Do we have a title? Corporate jet. That's pretty good. Lisa, do we have a title from you? The Mile High Club. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Do you have something even better than that, Glenn? I think you need some drops this one, unless you you can really pull something brilliant out of your hat, Glenn. R really? Yeah. Or oh, I I, I I I was going to call it the Demon of Progress. <laughs> Possibly. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not going to buy it. Can I buy Mile High Club by Lisa Bowman for $20? Wow! Yeah. Yeah. your nails bright green sing a melancholy song for no one else to hear stand alone in a hall of mirrors face yourself in the looking glass price you pay for the isolation found ten thousand light years from the ground Take your basket full of sorrows Hang them from a branch in your holy tree In space No one's ever there Hear you cry. The fox isn't very good company, but good company is always very hard to find on an asteroid these days. To so take a ride on Haley's Comet just to find some other one to share the Isolation found ten thousand light years from the ground.
like me Little Prince is on his go Except the fact that he Just like me Take your basket full of sorrows Hanging from a branch in your holy tree Share the isolation fell Take those light years from the ground Say the uh, literal minded. That's my title. It's pretty good. Okay, it's a moment. You have a new title. Uh, this is just the appetizer. <laughs> it's a catch on title. Yeah. Do you have something? Uh, yes, I do, Mark. What would that be? Uh, the Alchemy of Love. Well, you seem disappointed, so I thought, I thought I would explain it, that I thought the P-I-O-M was referring to lead, and, and um, th there's a lot of gold here, so that, you know, led me to alchemy, and then I thought, no, I'd try the alchemy of love. Before we title this drawing about today's problem, people endlessly texting and being distracted, not focusing on, on the person they're next to, for, for $20, let's answer this art history bonus question. What was Man Ray's original name? Emmanuel Redzinski. Very good. That's right. I just gave a lecture uh, this last weekend on the Hudson River painters uh, that uh, were primarily from 1825 to 1900, uh, starting with Thomas Cole and going through Frederick Church. Right. And do you know that in the room with us today is Lisa Rosen, who is an art restorer, and she has restored a lot of Hudson River painting. Yes. Yay! had a little chat about it earlier, John and I. Okay. I saw. Yeah. You had a chat in person without any texting involved, but this drawing shows four people having dinner together and they're all texting somebody else. So what should we call this picture, David Coggins? Uh, attention deficit disorder. Yeah, yeah that's Order. good. Yeah. Can we buy attention deficit disorder for $20? Look at this guy being exposed. Finally, someone has 
taken off the blank Kastavi map to find that inside is nothing. <laughs> no soul. Now, let's go to the luminaries. Do we have a title for this picture about taking off the map to find nothing under in, underneath? Yes, I do, Mark. <laughs> what would that be, Glenn? Well, I, I think that this is a painting about hockey, and I'm calling it Face Off. <laughs> Can I buy Face Off for twenty dollars by Glenn O'Brien? Yes, the money goes to Glenn O'Brien for Face Off. Yeah. Public access. Public access. Pretty great. Can I buy this public access? By David Coggins for twenty dollars. Way for free, Mark. Isn't it pop-up window? <laughs> Who said pop-up window? Obviously. Only I would say something that bad. Obviously, Mark, that's uh... Popeye. All right, let's vote on it. Can I buy pop-up window by David Crockett? Yeah. $20. Oh, Mark, stop! Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Are you ready for this one? Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. what, what have we got, David? Assume the position. <laughs> well, we did that last week. You're not going to get it. That, all last that money week. was going to my head. Glenn O'Brien or Lisa Bowman, do we have time for, from you? Uh, the big deal. That's good. The big deal. Can I buy the big deal by Glenn O'Brien for $20? Glenn, you were right. It was good. And you got to be Thank I'm you, Yes, in, 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 in Rome, Mark, you should be able to pick up uh, Italian Vanity Fair, where I write the column, Il Grande Glen, <laughs> which more or less makes me the Miss Lonely Hearts of Italy. Thanks for the update on your current writing venues, and look at this person who is trying to be pulled out of this cyberspace function. <laughs> I, have, I have one, Mark. Uh, it better be good, Simon, otherwise... Too many friends. Too many friends. Too many friends? Too many friends. That's interesting. Can I buy Too Many Friends by the Estonian with the horns? Simon Strigo. That was $20? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. $20 to Simon Strigo. <laughs> Well, I, my analysis is that it's like pointed criticism. She's been criticized maybe for the painting, and it sort of touched, the that criticism is, touched a, a, that is a nice. very soft point. Simon, I'm with you. I'm taking it. Pointed criticism, yeah. obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Can I, uh, uh, do you have something even better? Yes, I do, Mark. Uh, no. Or the <laughs> <laughs> Pointed criticism is a good analysis of a good title. The Arc of Character. That's really good, too. Lisa Bowman, do you have something even better than those two titles? Uh, turning the page. That's interesting, too. Let's start by...
by voting on Glenn's first. Can I buy the Ark of Character by Glenn O'Brien for 20 bucks? Ooh. It's got a lot of support. Can I buy Turning the Page by Lisa Bowman for $20? Turning the Page. Turning the Page. That got a little more support, I think. And Dave Coggins, your title was? Pointed Criticism. <laughs> Pointed Criticism. Pointed Criticism. Ooh. Is that worth $20? Uh, yeah, right. that oh. support. $40. <laughs> All right. I think this is going to be the last artwork. Yeah, this right? is the last one. Mr. Wonderful. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, see, Lisa's making up for the Christmas. Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, can I buy Mr. Wonderful? Yeah, okay, for $20. Yeah, why not? Yeah, $20 for Glenn O'Brien for Mr. Wonderful.